Alright, and here we are again with Let's Play Link's Awakening DX with me, Miles Calibur. On our way to find Zelda Ripoff Woman so we can take her to wake up a walrus. <sighs> Always the same. Oh, in case you were wondering, this is my rupee grinding spot. You just sit here and chop the coconuts until you get enough rupees. Uh, we're in the wrong place. This is wrong. This is very, 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 very wrong. We need to go over here. And down here, and there she is. Staring at the sea like a crazy person. You stay here and talk to well, I suppose I haven't really got much choice. Sure thing. He wants it he wants to get it on with her, it's so obvious. Not exactly being subtle about it. Well there is. Yeah, and the message is fuck you. Uh I didn't say that. Don't look at me. If you were a seagull, though, you'd be a seagull. You wouldn't be able to sing, you stupid woman. Yeah, I said that. Don't look at me funny. I am listening. I don't know what happens if you say no. I've never tried it. <laughs> Not gonna. Sweet. Haha! <laughs> it's a strange power-up to get, isn't it? Is this your big chance to bone her? No! She's a whore, but not for me. There's some funny shit you can do with Marin while you've got her following you around before you wake the walrus up. So I'm going to grab this treasure chest and I'm going to show you a few of them. Because I'm a nice guy like that. I'm going to get off the beach first though. So follow me, bitch. Where's my money? Ow! I got my hoe. She's following me around like she should. Get back in the kitchen and make me some pie. Who am I kidding? She doesn't even have a kitchen. Her house is like one room. It's nuts. Anyway, here's the first thing. Remember I told you earlier about this well and there's something funny you can do in it? This is it. You drop in with her. And she lands on your fucking head. Ow, my skull, you bitch. There's actually something else you can do in there. If you fall in and then you hold left or right as you fall, so you get out of the way, she misses you. Not quite as funny, but still, you know, there. Anyway, there's one more thing I can remember you can do with her, so I'm going to do that as well. The old trendy game. Crane game thing. If you say no way, she asks you again, and then the, both the options say yes, so you have to let her. And then she goes off and plays it while we sit here like lemons and watch her. Which, what prize are you going to go for? The shield? The drugs? The heart? The rupees? No. What's she, what are you doing? What are you doing, stupid woman? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, she's picking up the proprietor. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Oh god! Got him right by the neck! And no, you can't do that yourself when you play it. It doesn't work. She's the only one you can pick him up. <laughs> oh dear, I'd be pretty pissed off too if someone was playing a crane game and picked me up with it. I'd probably bust their skulls. Link can never go back there now, he's been banned. Ganon banned. <laughs> Please get the reference, otherwise I'm gonna cry. Anyway. Yep, yeah. I want the sword, damn it! Now we jump into the sparkly hole. She doesn't, she just flies. Whee! Back to Animal Village now. Get on with the damn game. If you talk to any of the rabbits, they just go all weird because you've got Marin following you. Damn furries. There we go. Anyway, there's the walrus. Should we give him a surprise? Yes, we should. I think you should sing for him and kick him in the nuts at the same time. 
Yeah, that got you awake, didn't it, you fat wanker? Ugh, that noise is disturbing. What's he doing? What is he doing? Oh, I'd get out of the way if I were you, Link. Jesus. I don't really know why he jumped in a lake. I do know if I heard her sing and it sounded like that, I'd probably jump in a lake too. Ah, oh, she's fucking off now. No more following us around. Where's my money, bitch? I'm coming to get my money. But Link being a pimp and a drug dealer and a terrorist aside, we have a key to find in this desert. There is a reason for being here other than it being fun and pointy. There's also a seashell, I believe. I'll get that in a minute though. Ow! Cactus is hurt! Uh, am I in the right place? I don't think I am. No, I'm really, really not. Although there might be a bomb hole here. Yes, I said bomb! It's got an O in it! Yeah! Oh god, they're everywhere! I was right though, wasn't I? Piece of heart! Yes! Complete heart container. Sweet! I'm getting out of here before I get eaten. Right. So. Ow. Pointiness. I think it's this room we need to go into. This boss is going to look familiar to players of Link's Past as well. Except there's only one of them and not three. But it's the same basic principle. Although if you, get, if you fall into the middle, you fall underground into that room I was in just a second ago. He did! Beat his ass. You can grab the key before it falls down there, but if you do, you end up falling down there anyway. So, don't really gain anything. Right. So that's another dungeon key obtained. Not all the dungeons have, uh, require keys, as we saw from the second one. In fact, this is the last one for a while that does, I think. What, or is it? I can't remember. Anyway, we've got to go down here now. Well, we don't have to, but I'm going to because there's a seashell here and I want them. No, nope, it's this one. Hooray! Secret seashells! Wow, seashell is a hard word to say. It is. Try it. You'll see. You'll all see I'm not crazy. Alright, maybe I am crazy, but not about that. Ow! Fucking cactuses, get off me! Ah, everything here is so pointy! Why would they make a test of all the pointy things? Ow! I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Yeah, have some of that. I'll eat your hearts and gain your tasty courage. Joke use for the fourth time, I don't care. And the owl's harassing us again. Go away. I don't care about the shape of the key. You suck. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Right, so anyway. Let's take our shiny new key and go and use it. The problem is, the place we need to use it is way up in the mountains, and that's quite a trek, so... Yeah. With a bit of a trip on our hands, but it's okay. We can do it. It's fine. What the... Uh, oh, yeah, that's fine. No. <laughs> Temporarily forgot what the hell I was doing there for a minute. Terribly sorry. What we do is we go into the old shiny hole of Spadoinkleness. That's the one. Whee! Back to the village, and now we need to head up north. To Scotland. Nah, I'm just kidding. No one wants to go there. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes because no one else will. Because there's no one here except for me. And I want to feel appreciated. I think there's something worth having over there, actually. Oh, wait a minute. If it's a seashell, I don't want it. Speaking of seashells, uh, I'm going to nip back to the seashell mansion and grab that extra one. So uh, I'll pause here for a sec. Okay, here we are. Just going to grab this extra seashell thing, just to show you how it goes. The bar now goes up to the second marker. But the last one is 20, not 15, so we got to wait till then before we come back. Sweet. Alright, let's get back on track. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. Back on track. Jack. So, I'm just going to nip over to this part over here because there is something worth having. And the reason I went back to do the seashell first is because I believe it's one of those. So, uh, I actually need to get rid of that flower first, and then if we dig in the spot underneath, ka-ching, there's another one. Blah, blah, blah. Right, I'm going to need to stop here for a while. 
So, uh, this is Mouse Caliber signing off. See you all next time.